Hi guys, Brian Latimer here. One thing that every fisherman wants to do, no matter what part of the country you're from or what you fish for, you want to catch more fish, you want to catch more fish quicker. I've got just the bait and just the concept to make you catch more fish and you're going to catch more fish quicker. It's called finesse swim baiting. Nothing new, but I'm going to tell you all the specifics about it and show you how you can use it in your lake to catch more fish. So finesse swim, swim baiting is something that I've been using a lot more frequently in the last couple of years. It's, it's nothing new to the industry, nothing new to fish, um, but there's been some, some modernization of it and a couple of changes that, that we've evolved with in the tackle industry that's made it a lot easier to use and we have a lot more choices this year and I'll walk you through it. Basically, there's just two, two different elements to this particular, um, this particular bait or concept. It's basically just a jig head and a soft plastic, a soft plastic swim bait um, with a boot tail on it. And when I say finesse swim baiting, there's, you know, we're all familiar with, with swim baiting. As soon as, as the word swim bait comes out of your mouth, the first thing that everybody thinks about is giant seven, eight, nine, 10 inch baits. Um, that you're going to throw and catch two or three fish on. Those do catch fish and that is a great way for you guys out there to go out there trophy fishing. But day in, day out, especially on a competition platform, um, this idea, this concept of finesse swim baiting has really, really started to catch on. Um, and it's a great way for you guys to catch fish. It can be as, just as complicated as you want or you can get very, uh, very simple, just as simple as just chunking and winding. Uh, but there's two, two elements. You got a round ball jig head soft plastic here and one thing that's really evolved over time if you guys are, are familiar been in the game quite a while uh, one of the very first finesse style swim baits very very swim baits um, across the board for that matter there's two that i remember uh, one was called a little fishy i don't know if you guys remember that you had two two styles on it. you had a pearl with a black back and you had a pearl with a blue back and that was your only choices uh, and there was also one called a sassy shad. Those were the ones that started it all, but they, we've had a couple of modifications since then. We've had better jig heads now. I use a round ball owner jig head. This is uh, just an eighth ounce. I really use about three sizes when I'm out there uh, finesse swim baiting. I'm gonna use an eighth ounce, a three sixteenth ounce, and a quarter ounce. It's pretty much all I use with round ball owner jig head. Uh, it has a really good hook. Back in the day, we really didn't have good jig heads, we didn't have good hooks. A lot of them had galvanized hooks in them, so a better hook selection in our jig heads, and that's one reason they're easy to use now. Um, the other one is gonna be our soft plastics. Now you can get soft plastics. Um, this particular one is a, is a three inch uh, Z-Man minnows, and they come in so many different colors, and you can match so many different types of forage uh, with the plastics and the variation in colors that we have now. So those are some of the modern improvements that we have that's made these baits a lot more usable and a lot more fisherman friendly. So as I said, you know, on my jig heads, I'm pretty simple. I'll use a round ball, quarter ounce, three sixteenth ounce, uh, or eighth ounce. And all that's really gonna depend on is where the fish are in the water column, the size of my soft plastic, and the, and the weather that particular day. If it's really windy or if it's uh, flat calm, Typically, the more wind you have, the heavier bait you're going to, the heavier jig head you're going to use, the bigger the soft plastic. Typically, the bigger the jig head I'm going to use. So, um, and when I say finesse swim baiting, when, I, when I'm talking about finesse swim baiting, I'm talking about soft plastic swim baits. They're typically from four inches to two inches. Um, so anything larger than that, I'm just going to call it regular size finesse swim baiting. I'm going to say any bait from four to two inches is going to fit in that category. And there's basically three that I use to do all of my finesse swim baiting when I'm out there catching fish. Um, and I have all three of them here and I'm pretty simple on colors. Of course, like I said, there's a lot more color variations out there now uh, that you can use. Z-Man has so many different colors. I've caught everything from redfish, trout, spotted bass, smallmouth, largemouth, red eye bass on these particular baits. Um, but there's three sizes that I use. I use a four inch diesel minnow. That's the one I have here. Um, I use that. I also use the three inch minnows. That's a great profile as well. And perhaps one of my favorites 
uh, when I want to get numbers in the boat and the fish are feeding them. Very, very small thread thin shad um, is going to be this one. This one's called the Slim Swims. Slim Swims is very, very small. Almost looks like a crappie fishing bait, but I can tell you the bass really love this. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome um, smallmouth bait and smallmouth bait. Uh, smallmouth and spotted bass bait, especially during the winter time and the fall, the bait typically is very, very small because what you have is this previous year's shad spawn is just now maturing, maturing and, and the bait size is very small. Um, and sometimes the fish are just very finicky during those periods of the year. Um, and the Slim Swims is a great profile to match that very, very small bait fish size. There's a jig head that I like specific for each soft plastic. And the two inch uh, Slim Swims, this is a bait I like to use a little bit different. I use the same jig head for those two plastics. The minnows and the diesel minnows, I use the exact same jig head. Uh, but this is a small, very, very small piece of plastic and I use a specific jig head for this. This is the Z-Man Finesse Shrooms uh, jig head here. And this is what we use on all our Ned Rig baits. And basically this bait really fits in that Ned Rig category. It's a real small bait, um, really slim plastic. And it can be a little difficult to rig if you don't have the correct jig head. So when you use that Finesse Shrooms jig head, it fits right against the plastic perfect, so I don't have any issues there. Um, so I'm gonna use it and I'm just gonna thread it in. It has a perfect size hook. You don't want an oversized hook on such a small piece of plastic. Anytime you've got a hook that really goes way back here on the tail, a lot of times that's going to help you uh, solve those short strikes. Um, but one of the downsides to it is you're going to restrict the action of the bait. Uh, when you put that. Now, moving on to the three inch minnows. This is probably the most versatile of the three that I think. Um, this bait is going to put a lot of fish in the boat. It's great for fishing on schooling fish, down the side of docks. I fished it deep on ledges. Um, I've caught everything from catfish, uh, smallmouth, spotted bass. It's a great spotted bass bait. Uh, it's just a very, very versatile bait. I've even used it in salt water as well. Uh, but I'm going to use the owner 3 16 or 8 ounce head on this particular bait. Uh, one really good thing to mention about the, the Z Man minnows. It has a little bit thicker body and that does two things that makes it easier to rig this bait's not going not going to tear up if i don't break it off more than likely i won't have to replace this particular plastic all day long um, so it stays on the hook very well i can cast it and put a lot of oomph in it and it doesn't slip down off the jig head there's nothing better uh, nothing worse than making a perfect cast down the side of a dock or skipping it under a pontoon only to realize that your bait filed up on that cast this bait stays up on the jig head very well and that lets me present the bait a lot more efficient. Now my third that still fits in that finesse swim bait category is gonna be the four inch diesel minnows. And I pretty much stay in the same color um, on this one as well. The pearl, um, the pearl blue glimmer is a great color to use no matter what, if it's clear, it doesn't matter if it's gin clear all the way until um, a little bit of stained water. Typically you're gonna be finesse swim baiting and fairly clear water. Uh, this is a four inch bait. This is the exact same profile as a three inch. There's not much difference here. The only difference here is I'm gonna use a, uh, typically use a little bit larger uh, weight head here. Probably gonna use a 3 16 or a quarter ounce size head. And all that lets me do is get that bait out there farther. It's a little bit bulkier uh, piece of plastic, so it's a little bit more resistance when I go to make a cast. So I'll use a little bit bigger jig head to get that bait down in the water column a little bit better. And the bigger jig head typically has a little bit bigger hook. This is a little bit larger swim bait here, plastic, a little bit more plastic. Um, so that lets me get that bait out there farther. This is a great bait to catch fish on as well. You can catch everything from large mouth, small mouth, spotted bass, it doesn't matter. The four inch diesel metals from Z-Man Fishing. The bulk of a bass's diet is gonna be some type of shad or minnow. Um, they still feed on crustaceans and things like that, and brim and sunfish, panfish, and you can make these baits imitate those as well. But typically, they're going to feed. They're going to. I can make this bait imitate threadfin shad, blueback herring, um, smelt, alewives, any of those. There's a color that matches almost identical to those those particular uh, forages. So that's one reason it just works so well and can catch so many numbers on them. Um, but I'm going to use this in, in a variety of different situations and scenarios. I can use it around docks. I can fan cast it on flats. It's great for bedding bass. 
Um, I can use it on schooling fish. It's one of the best schooling fish baits there is. When fish are school it, they're almost always going to be feeding on some type of shad imitate, um, shad forage. And there's nothing better to imitate those shad than small finesse size swim bait. You know, on the, the rod reel line setup, I'm pretty simple on this. Um, I'm almost always going to use spinning equipment with this particular presentation. There's a couple reasons why. I'm typically going to use a lot smaller line than I would on bait casting equipment. I very rarely go over a 10 pound test fluorocarbon. Of course, on my spinning rods, I always spool up with braid and I'll use a fluorocarbon uh, tippet or a fluorocarbon leader. And that just lets me get the distance. Uh, these baits can be a little bit twirly in the air. And using that braid, I don't get near as many line twists. Uh, so using that smaller line, it does a couple things for me. Smaller line lets me keep that bait down in the water column a lot better. And using a smaller line, I definitely like to use spinning equipment. Most of the time your spinning reels are going to have much, much smoother drag system on them. And that's essential when you're out there using six, eight, 10 pound test line. If you get a big fish on there, these hooks on these jig heads will hold the bait perfect. But if you've got really big line, you're going to straighten out that hook and lose your fish. Uh, so having a good drag system is absolutely essential. Seven, two, seven, three, um, size medium action spinning rod. And that's pretty much the setup, really simple. If you're looking for something really complicated, this is not gonna be the video for you. Finesse swim baiting is a great way to put bass in your live well and a lot of bass in your live well very quickly. There's tons of different colors, shapes, and sizes, and I encourage you guys to experiment with those and see what works best for you. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. Make sure you subscribe and also follow me on social media.